Welcome to my studio. My name is Beth, and I'll be your art instructor today. Here's a butterfly. It wiggles and the wings move. For this project, you're going to need a few supplies. So let's get started. This is my butterfly, and I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see how it's put together. Draw out your shapes first, and I'm just going to trace around it. I'm going to use my the thick side, and then you cut out the parts. Okay. And again, with the wings, I'm going to need six of them. Now, when it comes to putting my sticks together, the way that I'm going to put this together is I'm going to wrap around these two notches right here. Okay. I'm going to go around this way first and then I'm going to twist. But then I'm going to come un underneath and wrap this all the way around like so and then twist it on top. I'm going to go around first to hold them together. I'm going to twist twist it in the back like so and then I'm going to pull both of those through the center so now I'm going to place this one on top and this one on top so when I put these two together again I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to wrap it around first to hold them in place and I'm going to slide it right in the notches that's one of the thing about using these with the notch it slips right on and it stays in place I can still move it because you want to test as you go. That's important. I'm going to wrap it around nice and snug. Make sure it's in the notches. I'm going to twist it. Now to add my third one, oh, my third section, that's the ones that are on the end. So I'm going to turn so that my blue is still up here at the top. And we're going to put one here and one here. And I'm just going to slide my sticks right underneath this part of the rubber band. And if it doesn't line up, you just take it out and put it through the other one. So you're going to get a straight line going all the connecting these two. So now instead of holding it here, I can hold it down here. Now that I have the base done and I've had my pieces cut out, now I can glue it together. The first thing I'm going to do is glue the head and the beak together. Put it right on here. Now this is going to be the bottom part. So I'm going to set that aside. So I'm going to very gently, I don't need to put any glue on this one because there's plenty on this one. So I'm going to put the head and the body together. And I'm going to glue it onto the blue part of my stick just the head part. This part right here is going to touch right here. Now while this is drying, you can also put a little piece of tape to hold it in place. 10 minutes for it to dry completely. When you begin to assemble, I usually start with the tail. So I'm going to have a set of wings that are here and a set of wings that are here. So that's how I'm going to assemble it. Putting glue underneath this part. So my next piece is going to get glued right here. This is going to tell me exactly where I'm going to put my glue to see if it still, yep, it still moves. See how it's moving? So now that I know exactly where everything is going to go, I can take off piece by piece and glue right in that spot. This one I'm going to glue down later. But as you can see, butterfly is done the same way. It uses the same pattern. And again, you can use your marker to help you decide what patterns you want to put. You don't always have to put feathers. You can put any kind of organic designs. They work really well in this instance. You can put an extra layer of feathers. You can 
have more than one line here. You can use some of the same design like I did with my butterfly. And when you finish, you will have a movable object called kinetic art. I hope you had a lot of fun watching me. Now it's your turn to make your bird fly away. Until next time, have a great afternoon and enjoy your craft.